I thought I got rid of you. I don't want to do this. Can we do the again? You were in the last time we had a Wolverine X Men set. I don't look at the hat. Give me the hat. You cannot have my hat. I can look just like this again. Hello and welcome back to Dial H for Hero Clicks, guys. We have a super special unboxing for you today. We got the Deadpool Weapon X set. Wizkid sent it to us, and we can't wait to get cracked into it. Simeon, what do you want to see in the set today? Oh man. We talked about it on the podcast, but I we did. love the hot shots. Yeah. I think that's going to be really fun. Obviously, all the Wolverines through different eras is really that's exciting right. for me. Um, seeing these like weird X-Men costumes, I'm not sure what that's all about, so that's yeah. going to be fun. And then, yeah, obviously, I'm pumped. tons of Deadpools. I like the wacky stuff. Deadpool, they've been some of my favorite sets in the past, the first two Deadpool sets. I've always enjoyed Sealed in all of those sets, too. Yeah. So I'm hoping this is a really fun Sealed set. I hope it has a lot of weird, goofy Deadpool stuff. We see, like, Mountie, Deadpool, yeah. Panda Pool, uh, Mime Pool. So I'm really excited for the wacky things that are going to come out of this set. But you want to kick us off with the Legacy card? Yes. We've only, we've only seen a few of these, although we know everything that's in there. I've got my, my herd of Hell Cows with me today. Uh, I don't want to necessarily pull a Hellcat card. I want to show off something cool and new. It's a long dial. Ooh. It's Ooh. not a Hellcat. Ooh, it is Professor X and Magneto. Okay. Really cool. Uh, so let's go over what they do. Or yeah, what, they do? what do they do? Uh, Professor X and Magneto. This is from the Wolverine, Wolverine. and the X-Men, of course. Uh, number 053 in the set. Um so they have Brotherhood of Mutants, Quiet Council, X-Men, Ruler, and Scientist keywords, Brotherhood and X-Men team abilities. Uh, same dial as they always had, obviously. Uh, but they have a trait that is, you're more than my friend, Charles. If three Aww. or more friendly characters can use the Brotherhood of uh, Evil, Brotherhood, brother, brotherhood, brotherhood of Mutants, mutants geez. Uh, <laughs> if three or more friendly characters can use that team ability, when a friendly character uses the X-Men team ability, the chosen character heals three clicks instead. Jeez. If three or more friendly characters can use the X-Men team ability, friendly characters with the Brotherhood of Mutants team ability instead succeed on an 8 through 12 when using it. Dang. That's like a, a crazy team. It's really good, kind of, yeah. Uh, that's worth building around for sure. Uh, they have a special attack power, their first three clicks, that is Mental and Magnetic Might, Penetrating Psychic Blast, Telekinesis, Modify Professor X and Magneto's attack plus one for each other friendly character that has the Brotherhood of Mutants team ability, and modify their defense plus one for each other friendly character that has the mm. X-Men team ability, and that power is Protected Outwit, so top dial, they could be a 13 attack with a 20 defense. Wow, okay, right pretty, on. Pretty cool. And then the last three clicks, they've got Kindred Spirits, which is Leadership, Perplex, and Shape Change. Hmm. Coming in at right 80 on. points, 7 range, 1 Lightning Bolt. That's that's pretty fun. That's cool. Very thematic, something like to build with for sure. All right. Crack into this one here. Kind of trying to remember what all we've seen so far. Okay. Ooh. I think this is a complete Hot Shots booster, <laughs> actually. We have Black Widow, Diamondback, Outlaw, Atlas Bear, and White Fox. Have we seen everybody in this? I think I know we've seen White Fox, Atlas Bear. Bear have we yeah. seen Outlaw before? Have we? I honestly don't remember if we have or not. Outlaw being the, the cowgirl. The cowgirl. With super strength. So I think we'll pop at least Outlaw out and give her a quick mention. I'll do my, I, my Scott Porter rundown. At one point in the that <laughs> mini series, yeah. she becomes like giant, like a, oh really like skyscraper sized, and it's pretty funny. Why giant cowgirls from outer the attack of the fifty foot cowgirl? It is from outer space, kind of. Yeah. Oh really? Oh, the, uh, celestial seed thing. So she has Deadpool core assassin brute and marksman. Makes sense. She is the quick draw trait. When Outlaw hits with a range attack, if it was during your first action this turn, after resolutions, you get to remove an action token from her. Okay, cool. A little popping off a shot. And then her hot shots is yeehaw. Outlaw hits. After resolutions, give her a hot shots token. Friendly characters with a hot shots trait have free. Remove a hot shots token from this character. If you do this turn, they have knockback. And characters they knockback can't reduce knockback damage. They're always Ooh. taking the one. That's kind of cool. She's got a fun little just. Running shot dial, but it's got some, you know, if you if you base her, if you get up next to her, and she can also shoot while base, she might run up, shoot you, and the next turn, 
hit you with some super strength. She's got some empower to help her fellow hotshots out. But that's pretty cool. So that's outlaw. Kind of like it. Just pointing at you. Giving you the, the what for. Yeah. <laughs> Entire hotshots. This is kind of cool for sealed, though. That is, yeah. I like that. And that's also a, uh, a pulp team in a pack. So yeah. that's pretty fun. It's true. Just missing domino now. That's true. All right. Pack two. I'm going to the back right corner. Ooh. We got a big okay. fancy die. This is a massive die. Holy cow. Cool. It's a set symbol. I like that. <laughs> it is the set symbol. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Ooh, we got we got Jeff the Land Shark. We got Scout. We got Lady Deathstrike. We got Black Widow. And we got Wolverine, number 001 in the set. So of these, I think, yeah, we've seen Jeff. We've seen Black Widow. Maybe it's just Lady Deathstrike. Have we seen Scout? I don't know if we have seen Scout. I don't I think if she makes the bystander, then we have seen we have seen Scout. Okay. So That's Lady the Deathstrike. Honey Badger yeah. type. And then we've got a hint card. Ooh. Ooh. It's talking about the, the dice from the set. Gotcha. I'll show that off. Uh, so we'll get into Lady Deathstrike here. Is this dice just an I it's think it's just, just a, a random dice? I, yeah, okay. I think we just got a Free yeah. set dice in that booster. That's kind of cool. Yeah, I that's like that. cool. <laughs> nice. Just a, it's a rare pack, but you get a free die. Uh, so Lady Deathstrike here. She has the Reavers, Thunderbolts, Weapon X, Assassin, Martial Artist, and Robot keywords. And then she has the Brotherhood of Mutants team ability. Her first trait is the target trait. We know how that works. Okay. That's a assassin friendly assassin trait for sure. Uh, get extra twenty five victory points if you KO the target token. And then she has a trait that is downloading the digital consciousness. Combat reflexes. When Lady Deathstrike is KO'd, choose a friendly character with the robot keyword. This game, that character gains the assassin keyword and can use the traits on this card. Protected Pulse Wave. So it gives mm. them combat reflexes. It also lets them continue to pass that. Yeah, uh, that's kind of cool. Her whole dial, she has blades and a special speed power that is stand on your graves. Uh, charge... <laughs> but don't have speed if an opposing character was KO'd this turn. Oh, nice. So a little full speed charge that's dependent on some things. Uh, cool dial, invulnerability top, and then uh, one click of super senses in the middle, and then two clicks of regeneration for 45 points. Nice little sealed piece, for sure. I like it. A All 12 right. for four, yeah. Moving right along here. Let's see. Ooh, we have a prime in this pack, which is really sweet. Uh, we also have a rogue, multiple man, morph, and sunspot. I don't think we've talked about rogue just yet. So let's check her out. No special pack in card. Ooh. So rogue is ready for your beating, sugar. Traits knocked back. Characters knocked back this turn by Rogue can't reduce damage. Wow. They just cannot reduce damage this turn if they've been knocked back by Rogue. That's kind of wild. She's a 75-point piece, man. A 12 for 4, close combat expert, hypersonic piece. Very simple dial. It's up on the screen. You can check it out. That is pretty gnarly. I, this Rogue just hits you crazy, crazy hard. And then we have a Golden Colossus <laughs> figure. Wow, he looks so cool in gold. Oh, my gosh. Uh, this is our rare 043B Prime. He's Cosmic Energy, Brotherhood of Mutants, Armor, and Ruler. Pawn... Jeez, look at these stats. Wow. <laughs> oh my gosh. 12, 12, 20, 5. Goodness gracious. Okay. Mind Control. When Colossus says his Pawn of the Shadow King, when he uses it, after resolutions, deal a hit character damage equal to Colossus's printed damage value. So he can charge up through blocking... Mind control you, and then he just deals you five damage, which is not from an attack, so it'll get through stop, which is really cool. Um, sustenance from the shadows, his second trait. Opposing characters can't use safeguard mind control, including from Battle Fury. Wow, so he wow. is a very different Cyclops. And then unstoppable and untiring, his defense power, his entire dial is impervious, and he can reduce penetrating damage. And of course, that's protected outwit because he has cosmic energy the entire time. Oh, man. I, this is 80 points. I, this looks like a pain in the butt to chew through. I have no idea how you chew through this. Yeah, wow. That is a, a uh, sealed winner. For so, yeah. Sure. 
Pewter, Rasputin, in brackets, it says Shadow King. So this is actually Shadow <laughs> King possessing Cyclops, or Colossus here. Wow, goodness gracious, that's kind of gnarly. Okay, yeah. so there's our, there's our Prime anyways, a rare Prime. That, that is sick. Really cool. I'll have to look up when I know when Colossus went gold. Got chromed out, dude. All all golden up, dude. Looking gnarly. All right. Oh, we have that is strife looking. Yep. Oh. We have a strife. He's a little off base, but luckily the foot pegs will pop him right back on. We have Maverick, who is a super rare. Uh, Ooh. We've got Richter. We've got little Wolvie, and then we have a one of the Time Breakers, which a little bug guy. Everybody Waving wants at the you. Time Breakers. We got another hint card, electromagnetic pulse, and a rider must have his steed. Ooh. Whoa, that's I don't think a, I've seen that yet. It's yeah. like a banshee with a skull for a face. Yeah, purple flame on it. Okay. Interesting. That's really cool. All right. Let's see. Yeah, a lot of figures in there. Yeah, right? we, we haven't seen. Yeah, so we'll start with Wolvie here. Uh, Wolvie is tiny size. He's got three clicks for 30 points. He's got Exiles, Mojoverse, Weapon X, X-Men. He's got the Did You Miss Me, Did You trait. When Wolvie is KO'd, roll a D6. On a 4 through 6, instead of removing him from the map, you may place him adjacent to another friendly character and turn him to click 1. He's still scored this way. Oh, okay. So, hard to deal with. He doesn't go away quite fast, but uh, at least they still get the points. So, yeah. that's, that's a fun little mechanic. I like his tiny little claws. What a great sculpt. Uh, yeah, very massive, simple dial, but massive very fun little piece. Yeah, he's cute. Cool. And then we've got Strife. Obviously, uh, Cable's evil brother, or clone. Of whatever. course. <laughs> yeah, I knew that. Yeah, the Summers family's weird. Uh, Strife is number 025 in the set. Mutant Liberation Front. What a great keyword. Wow. Armor, Future, and Ruler. He has the Mutant Liberation Front as a trait, and that is Leadership, Mastermind, Unique Modifier, Friendly... Bystanders modify attack plus one oh. and can use plasticity. I like that. I really yeah, like that. Just all friendly bystanders get a plus one attack okay. and can use plasticity. That's kind of crazy. Uh, he has a special damage power on both starting lines and his last click. Shape change, outwit. Friendly characters with no action tokens have safeguard opposing probability control. Ooh. Interesting. Okay. I don't think that'll work when you're making an attack. Because you'd have an action. Well, it'll be after. You, after. you get an action yeah. after. Okay. So, yeah. It'll so, work yeah. for your first attack of. Yeah. That's pretty cool. He hmm. comes in at 125 and 50 points. I think at 125, he's pretty stout, pretty decent he is. seal piece. I like piece. that for a seal piece. He's uncommon. That's pretty gnarly. Yeah. That's a good seal piece for an uncommon. All right. And then we'll get into Maverick here. Of course, claim to fame is his. He's part of Weapon X. He's also got X-Men, Assassin, Soldier, and Spy keywords. He's a team player, team ability. Right, that's uh, cool. His trait is Energy Absorption. Force Blast, when Maverick takes damage or is knocked back, after resolutions, heal him one click. And then he has a real big, long attack power that is this whole dial. So for 75 or 50 points, okay. it's uh, two pretty kinda, similar starting kinda lines. Kind of leaning towards starting with running shot, but, yeah. you know, we'll see. All right, Corrosive Blasts gives him Energy Explosion, Penetrating Psychic Blast. When Maverick knocks back an opposing character, give them an Enzyme Token. Opposing characters with one or more Enzyme Tokens have, when this character would heal, instead deal them one damage for each Enzyme Token they have. And Power, remove all Enzyme Tokens from this character. Protect it out with. So they can take a Power Action to remove them, but if, you're, uh, if you get hit by... One of his corrosive blasts, and you have like steel energy or know, like yeah, a yeah. black yeah. lantern or something. Oof. Okay, kind of like the anti-healing tech here. He's kind of a maybe to help counter all the Wolverines and Deadpool's we're gonna see in the set. So I kind of dig that. What a '90s looking dude. Dude, he has the, so much stuff couch. on him. It's not like armor. It's just like stuff. Yeah. It's like belts and straps and shoulder pads, and it's just stuff. Okay. Who have we in this pack? I actually think we've seen all of these pieces before. We have James Howlett, little nightshirt Wolverine. We have the Hydra Agent, who we've seen. We have Cowboy Logan, who we've seen. 
The hint card is about Gambit. It does kind of show off a Scarlet Witch with special Scarlet Witch dice. Ooh. Throw that up on the screen there. That's pretty cool looking. I kind of like her sculpt there. Yes, we've seen you. I think we have seen indeed Cannonball, Hydra, Agent, James Howlett, and then Forge. I believe we have seen. I think we've seen all these guys. I think we're going to go ahead. We're going to skip over this pack. So you want to crack in the next one. We didn't see that Chaos Magic hint card, at least, so it's kind of cool to get a look at the Scarlet Witch that's going to be in the set. All right. Here we go. All right, we've got a Shatterstar right off the bat. Okay. Who is this man holding an ice cream cone? Oh, that's Iceman holding his ice cream the cone. The most unique? Kind of crazy. That's like the most unique Iceman sculpt ever. That really, is, yeah. it's just completely... It's very totally, uh, just reminiscent totally of like yeah. the DC reporter, like Jimmy Olsen kind of looking yeah. dude. Ooh, we've got Welcome to Dead Pool Poolopolis. 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 Uh, enjoy a lighthearted take on the team up and budding romance of Deadpool and Elsa Bloodstone. Aww. Oh, there's going to be a Deadpoolopolis pizza party. Oh, uh, okay. Okay. It's kind of cool. And then on the other side, we've got uh, just a QR code, I guess. Let's see. The rest of this pack, we have Lady Mastermind. We have, of course, Iceman, Richter, Jubilee, and Shatterstar. Have we seen Jubilee? We yes, have seen we Jubilee. Have. Okay. She has a yeah. crazy amount of toughness. 25, for yeah, 25 kind of points for a sidestep pulse wave perplex is really cool, too. Uh, and then Shatterstar, obviously, from the Mojo verse. Yeah, 039 rare Shatterstar here. Yeah. Double swords. I think we've seen him, though. I think yeah. we're good on Shatterstar. Okay. Let's pop into this, see what else we got. We had an entire pack we hadn't seen, so that's pretty solid. Let's kind of get in. Ooh, okay. We have two very, very cool things in this pack. Uh, but let me tell you about the stuff we've already seen. We have Wolverine, 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 uh, 017, 003, and 001. We also have Boom Boom, who I believe we've also seen. But then we have our Chase, Deadpool Ooh. and Hitmonkey in their white suits, uh, which is really cool because you can buy them straight up. You can buy them uh, in the heist pack, and they're wearing like a black suit, and they have a team-up car. So this Deadpool and Hitmonkey, uh, we also have a set list, but we'll get to that later. We'll, we'll just get to that Ooh. later. So Deadpool and Hitmonkey, they have the target trait, which we've already talked about, give you a token, KL, score an additional 25 victory points. Deadpool Core Weapon X, Assassin and Animal. Ignores hindering and characters full dial of running shot, a special attack power. Bunch of super senses, they are 50 points. Uh, they have one more trait, and let's see what it is. Stealth, friendly characters, the Assassin keyword, modify attack and damage plus one when attacking a character that's been hit by Deadpool and Hitmonkey this turn. That's really good. If you like giving assassins plus one attack value, Ra's al Ghul and this guy, they're your guys. Their special attack is, what happened to duo attack? I don't know. What happened to it? These kids? Just kidding. Uh, precision strike, range, make up to two range attacks, but only to target an opposing character with a target token. I, I really like that. Um, Duo attack has been retired for so long, most of you probably don't know what it is. But it used to be duos had a duo attack symbol with two fists, uh, and they could make a power action and do two close attacks or two range attacks. It was really cool. So this is awesome that they have it, and they reference it breaking the fourth wall. It also used to be a podcast. So yeah, what happened to duo attack? Anyways, their special damage power can't get out of this one. Safeguard opposing probability control. When Deadpool and Hitmonkey attacks... Opposing characters with a target token. Ooh, can't use shape change. So this one's really leaning into handing out the target token, getting rid of shape change, getting rid of uh, giving plus one attack to people, being able to double attack someone with the target token. That's kind of fun. I like Deadpool Hit Monkey. They're a cheap little 50 point piece. Uh, I like them. Yeah, they're cool. Looking at this set list, it seems like they're not the only duo base. Mm. Uh, We'll okay. We'll save it. We'll make them. We'll save it. We'll, we'll save make them it. either skip ahead or uh, ponder while we finish these packs. All right. Next up, we've got a little Quentin Choir. Ooh. We have that uh, Sheriff Deadpool. Oh, okay. Is his name. He's a I was, sheriff. I was thinking it was going to be Camp Counselor or something. Uh, Lady Mastermind again. We have Copycat, and we have another Time Breaker to add to the Time Vault. Let's see here. We also have a Hint Wolverine card, 
with his special dice. And, ooh, hint duo figures. Oh, that is mm. sick. I really like that. Okay. A very iconic comic moment with some fastball. Fastball special with She-Hulk and Wolverine. That is really cool. Wow, nice. Okay. We have seen Quentin, so it is just Sheriff Deadpool in this pack. He also has the quick draw trait. Uh, so when he makes a range attack, if it was during your first action this turn after resolutions, remove an action token from him. Deadpool Core, Weapon X, X Force, X Men, Assassin, and Police Team or keywords Police Team ability and Team Up, the uh, Team Player Team ability as well. Uh, then he has another trait that is I will multi smite you, penetrating psychic blast. Once per turn, when Sheriff Deadpool hits with a range attack, after resolutions, he may make a range attack using Incapacitate. So he has Energy Explosion on dial, Penetrating Psychic Blast traded, okay. and then when he hits with a range attack, he can also just make another one. Improved targeting, hindering. Really cool little little forest sheriff man. I don't know why. I, the vest makes me think forest. I don't he, know. he looks very park rangery though, yeah, with the, the, with hat, the hat being stuff. like a flat brim across. Yeah. Whoa, four damage top dial. Oh, that's kind of gnarly. Dang. Jeez. Okay, Deadpool. Six range, two. Bring out big yeah. guns. Final two packs. Whoa! Stop right there. We do have something new in the pack. Don't worry, Ambassador caught it in the post. That's right, we've got the uncommon Kid Omega, and we'll take a closer look right now. So, Kid Omega's coming in at 50 points. He's got the Avengers, Brotherhood of Mutants, Exiles, Phoenix Force, X-Force, and X-Men keywords. He's also got a trait, which is Magneto was right, not left. Friendly characters with the X-Men keyword have Brotherhood. Friendly characters with Brotherhood instead succeed on a 9 through 12 when using it. Kind of like the, the legacy we saw earlier with the Professor X Magneto. He also has Psionic Shotgun as an attack ability, which is Energy Explosion, Telekinesis, and Knockback. That's pretty cool. Looking at those stats on the dial as well, see-through hindering, 12 attack, barrier outwit TK. I'll say it right now, I think this is an excellent sealed piece. Good uh, secondary, you know, third string attacker. And then TK is always great. Barrier can help out, outwit too. This guy's bringing a lot of support to the table. All right, back to the unboxing. I don't really know what to expect from these last two packs, man. But uh, if this is any indicator, hopefully some really, really cool stuff. Okay. Whoa. Pretty gnarly. We ha have a double. Is that right? No. Okay. For a second there, something threw me off, but that's okay. Uh, nice, we have Psylocke and Professor X. So a new super rare, a new rare. I believe we've already seen Mystique. We have Copycat and we have Diamondback. We have a new card here, Dark Sense of Humor. This is talking about Deadpool and Death, who we can see on the top of the box. On the reverse side, we get to see all of these special dice which do show off a Deadpool version of that yellow and blue dice. It's black and red instead of the set symbol, which is really cool. Uh, let's go ahead, let's talk about Psylocke first and then Professor X. Uh, this Professor X is wild. He looks like Strife, I yeah, think. Yeah, it does. It's kind of cool. So Psylocke, a bunch of cool keywords here for all the teams she's been on. A very simple charge, peace, and then she has Psychic Ninja. Stealth, mind control, mind control is free but only to target an adjacent character. Oh wow, so you just move all the way up there and then mind control somebody that's adjacent. That's really cool. And then she has, goodness gracious, a very <laughs> texty attack power. Psionic Blade Disruption, her whole dial. Blades Claws Fangs, when Psylocke uses it after resolutions, she may use the effect corresponding to the D6 result. So one is she gets to make a close attack, that's cool. Two, give a hit target an action token. Three, choose a standard power. The hit target can't use that power until your next turn, so it's not outwit. That's really strong. Four, hit target can't use team abilities until your next turn. Five, heal Psylocke three clicks. And then six, if Psylocke KO'd a character this turn, remove an action token from her. Wow. Okay. Really cool effects. Psylocke's got a really neat dial. That's pretty fun. Professor X, Illuminati, New Mutants, Shi'ar, Starjammers, and X-Men. Free the Prisoners is his first trait. When determining theme teams, characters of the X-Men keyword gain the Star Jammers keyword. That's for you, Star Jammers fans. Uh, friendly characters with Star Jammers get shield. Oh, that's kind of interesting that he hands out shield, not X-Men. Yeah, he hands out shield. Okay. Damage power is Mysterious Warlord. Leadership shape change. When Professor X uses leadership and succeeds, you may instead generate a, she a Shi'ar soldier bystander, max six. Or a Lalandra bystander, max 
one. This is not a uh, special leadership, didn't succeed on anything crazy high on the result. The Shi'ar Soldier, 6'10", 17'2", running shot toughness. Lalandra, 8'11", 18'3", running shot toughness with probability control. So you can probably pop out a little Lalandra right away. For the character star jammers do have whatever, so I don't think any of these guys, yeah, bystanders don't have any keywords, so he's not going to be handing out shield or anything. Pretty simple dial, though. You can notice characters, you can fly, a little running shot pen side piece for 90 points. Pretty solid if you like a very unique, totally different version of Weapon yeah. X. Rocking the gold, though. That, I like yeah, it. That very cool. regal colored cape. Yeah. All right. Last booster for now. All right. Ooh, we have a shiny Deadpool. That's, oh, that's Robot Deadpool. I didn't realize how, how shiny he is. Uh, we've got Mime Pool. We've got Patch. We've got Scout. And we have another Deadpool. Very Deadpool heavy pack. So, 002, the Deadpool Robot 015. And then, have we seen Mime Pool? I know we've seen We have skull. seen Mime Pool. Yeah, we haven't seen one of the Mime Pool. black off. and white. It's really cool. And then we've got, we've got Patch. Oh. Patch is a super rare. Okay. Oh. Let me check my checklist. At least according to the card. I shall and... check my checklist. <laughs> it looks like Patch is indeed a super rare. We've got another hint card with the Hot Shots and the Walking Cold Street. Nice. Domino and, Domino and the Hot Shots. All right. Patch. He has a trait that is, the big guy can get us in. Free. Once per game, choose a square within three squares of Patch. Patch can use Quake as free as if he occupied that square. After resolutions, destroy all blocking terrain with within two squares of the chosen square. Okay, so that's like a, a Mr. Fixit reference. Yeah, okay. His uh, partner. I was about and, to say, uh, I don't know if Patch is the board. big guy when he's no, he's a little fella. He's a little guy. <laughs> all right, he has a special speed power for his first four clicks. Both starting lines have this, and that is flurry, sidestep, stealth. Dang. Free. If Patch occupies hindering terrain, choose one. Place Patch in a square of hindering terrain within four squares. Or place patch adjacent to an opposing character within four squares. Oh man, just coming right out. It's very uh, right toward you and stabbing you. What's the 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 wet wall, wall crawler? Kind of wall right? crawler esque, yeah. Oh, similar hopping to hindering versus on and off elevated, yeah. yeah. With some sidestep flurry, blades the whole dial, obviously. Really cool. Well, right on. I, really I like, like that's a good note to end it off on. We got a ton of super rares. Ooh, yeah, we got Maverick. We have Patch. Uh, we have the Professor X, we got Deadpool as a chase, and we got a Prime Rare Colossus. I really like this prank, it was really yeah. solid. Uh, let's talk about the checklist, ladies and gentlemen, we'll throw it up on screen. Um, but you can go ahead and see all the crazy stuff. So I love the set of chases, they make me the most excited. We have Albert LCD, just Wolverine, a Weapon X. Makes me the most excited, Zombie Wolverine, that's really cool. Yeah. Major Logan, another patch, Wolverine and Deadpool, Old Man Logan, Deadpool and Hitmonkey, which we got, Deadpool and Death, King Deadpool and Elsa Bloodstone, and then Wolverine and She-Hulk, and we saw those last three on hint cards throughout mm -hmm. the day. Um, we see Banshee, Vox Ignis, Maverick, Scarlet Witch, Magneto, Storm, there's two Storms, she is going to be a Prime, Gambit, two Dominoes, we have already know what they do, Patch, Longshot, Professor X, Wolverine Pool, and Cable are our super rares, and you can kind of see the missing rares in there. Uh, I like this set list a lot. It is really, really cool, and I'm happy that we were able to pull it. Looks like no Ultra Chase, and it clocks out at the very top with 70 figures plus primes mixed in there with Wolverine and She-Hulk. What do you think, Simeon? I'm really happy with yeah. it. <laughs> the chases are quite Wolverine heavy, which is fine with me. Um, hopefully it's fine with everyone yeah. else. Yeah, do, do we have... We have three super rare primes, because there's Storm has an A and a B, Domino has an A and a B, and then oh, I guess we do. Banshee and Vox Ignis. I don't know who. That I is. suppose we do, yeah. But um, and then what's our rare primes? Rogue and then Colossus. Okay, so we do yeah. just have two rare primes, but yeah, you are interesting. Storm and Storm, but they don't have a little diamond next to them. So I don't know. Maybe that's not a prime. Maybe it's an alt rarity or something. Okay. They might be a prime. Sure as heck might be. But man, this is a really cool set list. Uh, Zombie Wolverine gets me super hyped. Yes. Hopefully we get the rest of the Marvel Zombies, maybe convention exclusives, maybe throughout other sets of the year. That would be really, really, really cool. 
But guys, enjoy the checklist. Let us know what you thought your favorite piece was that we unboxed today. And of course, stay tuned. Make sure you subscribe to Dial H for all the latest hero clicks, unboxings, podcasts, videos, and more. Uh, this is Dial H. Ladies and gentlemen, happy trails. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's nice looking, bub. Oh, yeah.